Okie dokie. Yeah, today I would like to try to answer a very old question in stationers. And the question is, um, when is a regulator better than a pump? Or in other words, how or when to use a regulator and when to use a pump? So, and the answer to this question is not very easy but you can pretty much uh, bring it down to the transferred moles. As you can see here, this is a display for how much moles the regulator can transfer per tick. This is the amount of uh, pressure in the, in the pipe, and as you can see, I have filled this pipe with 20 moles. I have, for the pump, I have filled this pipe as well. For uh, with 20 moles, and as you can see, the, the the volume pump transfers 20 moles in this setup, and the turbo pump transfers also 20 moles. And yeah, but let's start with the with the with the regulator here. In the end, I would like to show you how you can apply this knowledge, uh, especially here on 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 Mars. But this comes a little bit later, right? So as you can see here, I have filled the pipe with four atmospheres. Yeah? One atmosphere is 101 uh, kPa, and the regulator can transfer five moles per tick. As you can see here, we have 20 moles. If we turn it on for one tick, it removes it removes uh, one atmosphere from the from the from the network, and this is pretty much how the how the regulator operates. If you if you add a pipe yeah, to the to the to the regulator system, it cons it as you can see this number is not changing. The, the the mole transferred is constant and it depends a little bit on the temperature. And if you if we if you if you look at here, hang on. If you look at the at the uh, analyzer, now we have 15 moles. If we turn it on, now we have 10 moles. Yeah, and this is pretty much. This is pretty much how the regulator is operating. It removes five moles from the pipe network in front of it, and it doesn't matter how, how long the pipe is. And for the volume pump, it is a little bit different. The volume pump is only removing the content for the first pipe, if you set it to 100. If you set it to 50, it removes half of it, and uh, yeah, it's a percentage. But uh, let's say we have a, a volume pump set to 100 uh, liter, and it removes the whole content. As you can see here, 19 moles are in the pipe, and if we turn it on for one tick, the whole 19 moles are removed. If we add, uh, which one is it? This is uh, 0.5. If we add uh, back our, our 20 moles here, and now we add another pipe to it, see what happens. Now the the transferred mole is pretty much half of it. As you can see, uh, before, if you have one pipe, it removes the whole content, the whole uh, 20 moles. But if you add another pipe, it only removes the content in this in this pipe segment. So if you look at your at your moles in the in the pipe, oh sorry, uh, you and you want to know how much moles is a, is a volume pump uh, transferring to the to the outside just count your your pipe segments and divide it by your yeah divide your 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 pipe segments by your moles uh, yeah the other way around uh, divide your moles by your pipe segments and you get the amount of moles that your volume pump is uh, uh, can transfer if you if you add another pipe here, as you can see, the more pipes you have, the less amount uh, is, is is transferred. How the volume pump is operating is if you turn this on, as you can see here, we have 20 moles and it now removes six moles. Yeah. Now we have we have uh, with a little bit rounding error, uh, we we should have uh, something. Uh, let's say 14 14 moles. It removes the moles from this pipe, and the rest of the moles from the from the pipe have to equalize in the next tick with this pipe segment. And now you get less 
less amount of uh, moles transferred each tick you turn the, the 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 volume pump on it only removes one segment and the rest has to equalize and this makes it very 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 slow and as you can see the the question uh, the answer to the question is pretty much obvious here if the regulator transfers more, more moles uh, per tick than your volume pump can transfer then you have your answer so if the if the transferred mole for your volume pump is higher than your than your uh, regulator transfer uh, yeah then you can use uh, the volume pump for the turbo pump for the turbo pump it is pretty much the same like uh, like a normal pump but the difference if you can set the, the difference for the turbo pump is you can set it to 1000 liter and this means it removes the content of the 10 pipes in front of your turbo pump. If you have a turbo pump set to 1000 and you only have two or three pipes here and set it to 1000 you waste a lot of energy. Yeah? Because it only removes the three, the three uh, uh, pipes here and the rest has to equalize if you have a valve here or a tank, tank or whatever. Uh, so if you have set it to 1000, make sure you have 10 pipe segments in front of your, of your, of your turbo pump. And this means if you, if you have uh, 20 moles like we have uh, on the starting setup and you turn it on for one tick, boom, all the 10 pipes can uh, uh, are removed. Are removed. If we add another 20 moles, which network is it? The 17. If we add our 20 moles back, and as you can see here, and we add, we add more pipes here. Then it is pretty much like a. Hang on. Then it is pretty much like a. Hang on. Uh, keys. Then it is pretty much like a, like a volume pump, as you can see here. Now, it cannot transfer the 19 moles in the uh, in the pipe. It only transfers 16 moles, and this is the number 20 moles divided by 12. Yeah. So your 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 pipe segment, and now it removes only the moles still in the in the in the pipe. And if you turn it on, as you can see here, here in this pipe we had uh, some uh, rest gas uh, that has to equalize after the 10 pipes are cleaned and it makes it a little bit faster because now the equalization is not only to one pipe how, uh, in case uh, for the for the pump it is 10 pipes in this in this case yeah this is pretty much how it how it operates let me show you i have prepared something I have prepared a little bit of a of a display. Don't be don't be too. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, don't let you fool with this. Uh, this is not. Uh, as you can see here, this is uh, pretty much this line. You can see this is a transferred a transferred moles. You start with uh, 5,000 megapascal in a volume of 2,000 2, liter. Uh, this means uh, um, uh, uh, 20, 20, uh, 20 pipes. Yeah. So, and if you have a gas for zero for zero uh, zero degree, the normal pump starts off with uh, let's say 10, 10 moles per tick, and each tick it removes uh, less and 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 less. And, less. Uh, and here you can see uh, the less uh, moles you have in your pipe, the less uh, uh, the longer it takes, and it takes it takes very long to 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 uh, remove the gas from from a from a from a pipe. Here we have the turbo pump. The turbo pump uh, starts with, uh, of course, it is ten times ten times the normal pump, and it removes. Uh, it removes uh, a certain amount of moles and it uh, goes down to almost zero and uh, yeah this means for this for this setup the the, the turbo pump would uh, let's say let's make it uh, 30 something after 30 ticks uh, the pipe would be empty for a normal pipe uh, for a normal pump the, the it, it would take even longer as you can see here let's make it 90 something 
And for the regulator, the regulator has a constant uh, mole transfer. As you can see here, it removes uh, constantly uh, 4.5 moles. And here uh, you have not uh, 4.5 moles anymore, and it removes uh, a bit. So the volume, uh, no, not the volume pump, the regulator would need uh, 50 ticks if it's, uh, if it's running by itself. The turbo pump would use uh, 25 ticks if it's uh, running in this in, in, in this setup. Um, but what you are, the interesting point is is this point. As you can see here, at this point, the regulator removes more moles from the from the pipe than the than the uh, than the uh, pump. And the regulator here at this point removes more moles than the turbo pump. And this means until this point here, yeah, you let you let the, the the turbo pump running until this point, and then you switch to the regulator, and the regulator, as you can see here, can clean the rest of the pipe in two or in, in two or three ticks. And this would mean if you if you want to clean your your your, your pipe very fast, you start off with a volume uh, with a with a turbo pump. And after this point, you switch to the regulator, and you are pretty much at, uh, let's make it half, uh, after 12 ticks, so six, six, six seconds, uh, your your uh, pipe would be empty. Yeah, this is pretty much uh, what you can see here is how the, the characteristic is changing for uh, plus 100C and minus 100C. In this case, this is the cold gas, minus 100C, and this is uh, this is uh, uh, the hot gas, and as you can see, uh, for a hot gas, the volume pump is, is less and less effective. Yeah? And as you can see here, the same for the, for the regulator. I hope this makes a little bit sense, and if you remember, uh, you don't have to remember these, uh, these, uh, this graphic here. Uh, just remember, this point is the interesting part. If the regulator removes more uh, volume from your from your pipes and the, than the uh, 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 pipe uh, uh, than the pump, uh, then you can you can switch. Right, um, let's switch this off. Um, now, if you if you want to apply this system for something, um, we are here at. As you can see here, we are here at Mars, and um, a very frequent question in the Discord and uh, yeah, pretty much uh, everywhere is um, how can I how can I collect uh, gas from from the Mars atmosphere? Because uh, the Mars atmosphere has, as you can see here, the battery is empty, which is very unfortunate. As you can see here, Mars has only nine. Let's make it. Let's make it ten moles. Ten moles in the in the in the atmosphere. And the question is, uh, how would you set up um, your your harvest system if you want to uh, fully uh, utilize the, the pressure regulator? Yeah, as you can see, we turn it on here, and this means. This means the pressure regulator transfers 75, 76, uh, uh, 76 uh, kilopascal, which equalizes to 5 moles, as you can see here. Each tick, it removes 5 moles from this pipe and uh, puts it in this pipe, and uh, the volume pump is sucking it out, so you can have a very good uh, View on how much uh, is transferred, and as you can see, this is not very good. If you if you remove, let's say even even more here, as you can see, this number is going down. This means if you have not a, an appropriate uh, passive and and pipe system uh, on your input side for your for your pressure regulator, you will not uh, suck in enough enough moles. As you can see here, we only suck in 4.77 moles uh, per, uh, per, uh, per tick, and this is not uh, cutting it. Yeah. So if we, the question is, where does it start to, hang on, where does it start to 
operate at full capacity. As you can see here, we have uh, 6, 12, 24. And as you can see here, now it's removing, now it's collecting uh, a full one kilopascal, uh, uh, one uh, atmosphere uh, uh, gas from the from the from the uh, from the atmosphere here. Yeah. yeah, this is pretty much this is pretty much it. And if you if you if you remember, it is uh, dependent on the temperature. Uh, let's go to midnight. So this is midnight, and as you can see here, the temperature is very, very cold on, on, on Mars. And this also means the transfer for the moles uh, goes up. So now the, the regulator could transfer 6.1 moles, but the pipe segment has not enough moles uh, in, uh, in it, because the, the passive vents are not enough. And as you can see here, it is not an appropriate system. If you want to collect the very cold gas on Mars, um, which one was this one? This one, sorry. As you can see here, now you can collect at midnight the very cold uh, gas in your in your um, uh, with your system. It needs uh, this amount of uh, uh, passive vents and a pretty pretty much uh, yeah. Doesn't matter how you set it up, um, but uh, I like to set it up uh, with six uh, um, uh, passive vents per frame. And this means if you if you want to calculate it, now the regulator can, uh, if you want to pressurize your your room. Yeah, a room has eight thousand liter. This means one one hundred liter per pipe. So this means um, eighty ticks. Yeah, 80 ticks uh, it needs to pressurize uh, uh, one square in your room to 100 uh, uh, to one atmosphere, and 80 ticks means 40 seconds. Yeah, so if you if you have a setup like this, you can pretty much calculate if you have uh, if you have a, a certain amount of of squares in your room, each square needs 40 seconds to to pressurize to 100 uh, yeah 101 kPa and if you if you are not happy with this uh, you can of course uh, add another system but it has to be the same the same amount because then you would uh, add 200 uh, kPa to your to your room yeah yeah, I think this is pretty much it. I hope it shows that uh, the question is not an easy one, but if you remember, the transfer is pretty much the key for it. And and uh, yeah, you can calculate the, the transfer just by calculating, uh, yeah, grabbing the moles from your, you, you get it from your tablet. If you, if you look at your tablet here, uh, it's a little bit, yeah. Come on. Why is it not working? Here. If you look at your tablet, you can see here the moles. And if you divide these moles uh, by your by your pipe segments uh, in front of your of your volume pump, you can calculate uh, pretty much, or you get an estimate uh, of how much moles is transferred uh, with your with your uh, volume pump. If uh, in this uh, in this pipe segment, uh, yeah, just calculate it. And here for the tow pump, it is ten pipes. Yeah, like I said, uh, hope it makes a little bit sense. Uh, as usual, this is just a reference video for myself. I make this setups pretty much like a test setup. So if the game changes, um, I have a way to check it again. And yeah. So pretty much like a unit test, uh, if you are uh, familiar with programming, uh, you make a test that has to, uh, yeah, to fill the result. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I hope you found it interesting, and let me know uh, if you have any suggestions or maybe maybe something else um, how to how to make this easier to understand. Uh, otherwise, I hope you have a good day and see you.